This video examines access to insecticide-treated nets, or ITNs. This is a new indicator that provides an exciting look at population-level access to nets. The ITN access indicator estimates the proportion of the population that could potentially be covered by existing ITNs, assuming that each ITN in a household can be used by two people within that household. There are four important things to know about ITN access. One, ITN access measures ITN ownership, not ITN use. This can be confusing because the indicator examines the proportion of the household population that could be protected by an ITN given the number of ITNs owned by the household. However, ITN access does not account for actual ITN use. Second, ITN access assumes that two people can use an ITN and be fully protected. But keep in mind that this assumption does not take into consideration settings in which more than two people use an ITN. Third, ITN access is measured at the population level. This means that the unit of observation for this indicator is the de facto population, or all the people who stayed in the household the night before the survey. Finally, it is important to note that analyses of ITN access cannot be done at the individual level. Individual attributes, such as age or sex, cannot be assigned to those with ITN access or to those without. For example, you cannot say that ITN access is higher among women than men because ITN access looks at the population as a whole, rather than individuals. So why does ITN access matter? Use of ITNs is one of the most effective measures for preventing malaria. In the past decade, country governments have distributed millions of mosquito nets. However, you need to remember that just because a household has an ITN, it does not mean that household members are using the net. Data on ITN access, coupled with data on ITN use, can provide a clearer picture of what exactly is happening in a country. This information is very useful for malaria prevention programs. If ITN access is high, but ITN use is low, Programs may need to focus on behavior change to encourage the use of ITNs. Together, data on ITN access and ITN use can help ensure that resources are directed to where they can be most effective. So let's look at calculating the access indicator. The denominator is the total number of de facto household members. In other words, the total number of individuals who spent the previous night in surveyed households. The numerator is the total number of potential ITN users. To calculate potential ITN users, we need to determine the number of individuals who could sleep under an ITN if each ITN in the household is used by two people. We do this by multiplying the number of ITNs in each household by two. Now we divide the total number of potential ITN users by the number of de facto household members to get ITN access. ITN access cannot exceed 1 or 100%. Here's an example. Household A has 3 ITNs and 8 people, which means that there are 6 potential users. Remember, each ITN protects 2 people. Now we take 6 and divide by 8, or the number of people in the household. This shows that 75% of the household members have access to an ITN. In contrast, Household B has three ITNs and five people. To calculate potential users, we multiply the three ITNs in the household by two, which would be six. However, the number of potential users cannot be larger than the actual number of household members. Since Household B has five members, we limit the potential users to five. As before, we take five and divide by the five household members which would be 100%, or in other words, all five people have access. Remember that ITN access is a population level indicator. So let's pretend that household A and household B were the entire population in our survey. First, we should calculate the total number of potential ITN users in our population. To do this, we add six potential users from household A to the five potential users from household B for a total of 11 potential ITN users. Now we divide potential users by 13, 
which is the total number of individuals who stayed in the households the previous night. 11 divided by 13 is 0.85, or 85%. In this hypothetical example, 85% of the population has access to an ITN. In the DHS program final reports, ITN access estimates can typically be found in the table titled Access to an Insecticide-Treated Net. This table is from the 2013 Rwanda Malaria Indicator Survey. The percent of the population with access to an ITN is presented in the last row in the final column, or the total percentage shown here. We can see that 65.9% of the household population in Rwanda has access to an ITN. How to use ITN access in a sentence. ITN access is usually expressed as a percentage. You could say 66% of Rwandans could sleep under an ITN if every ITN in the household were used by two people. Or you could say two in three people in Rwanda have access to an ITN. For more information about ITN access, visit our website or the user forum.